You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. Thanks to Concordia University, Wisconsin for supporting The Coffee Hour. Find out more about Concordia University, Wisconsin at cuw.edu. Live uncommon. Okay, this opportunity today does not apply to me or you. Neither of us can compete in these contests because, well, we've aged out, I think, (laughs) a little bit. bit. But some uh, fun opportunities for students this year, and we want to share those with you. Joining us today, Dr. Jacqueline Veith, Director of Accreditation and Certification for the Consortium for Classical Lutheran Education, also known as CCLE. Dr. Veith, thanks so much for joining us on the Coffee Hour today. Thank you. Glad to be here. Share with us uh, how CCLE partners with families and schools today. (laughs) Well, the CCLE partners with schools because that's our mission is to promote, establish, and equip individuals and schools that are committed to confessional Lutheran doctrine and the classical approach to education. So when we offer activities and events, we're very specific to not only offer this to the brick and mortar CCLE schools, but also to homeschoolers. So I want to uh, encourage any homeschoolers who are listening in to uh, think about uh, following CCLE and to be become involved in uh, our events and activities. CCLE is probably best known for the summer conference that we offer every summer. This next summer, it will be July. 5th as a pre-conference in July 6, 7, and 8 at uh, Redeemer Classical uh, School and Church in Fort Wayne, Indiana. So if people are interested in hearing about our summer conference, the information will be online at our website, which is www.ccle.org, probably within a couple of weeks. So we see the conference and then student contests as a way to reach out to people who are uh, committed to classical education, who also are confessional Lutherans. So tell us more about these student contests. Why have contests for students that are associated with CCLE? This is one way that we can celebrate and recognize excellence in education. So the opportunity to participate in a contest and to be, you know, recognized for achieving a very eloquent, persuasive argument in an essay or for a a particularly moving performance in the recitation contest or a beautifully, an aesthetically beautiful handwriting in the penmanship uh, and calligraphy contest is, uh, again, a way to support the classical approach to education, but to make it visible for the students who are receiving that classical education. So what are the contests taking place this year? I know that CCLE has had contests, student contests in the past, and we've had the opportunity to share some of them here on the Coffee Hour. Uh, Tell us, what are the contests taking place this year? Well, we have three contests taking place. Each have a different deadline for submission. So I would like to just talk a minute or two about each one of them. Our first contest is an essay contest. The deadline for the essay contest is March 15th, so students and teachers still have time to uh, think about this, possibly write an essay to participate in it. There are two prompts in an essay contest. You always have a theme or something that you write to. The dialectic prompt is how is the Word of God important in shaping what you learn in your classes? I mean, that's obviously to, you know, confessional Lutherans, the word of God is is the overarching foundation. So this gives the students a chance to think about and articulate what that means to them in their education. The rhetoric prompt is a little more sophisticated. A classical education tries to teach students wide-ranging knowledge, the ability to think logically, and the ability to express their thoughts effectively. Other educational philosophies today teach students to get in touch with their feelings, to see themselves or their classmates as victims of oppression, and to become politically active. Which approach best prepares students for life in the 21st century? So students have a choice of two different uh, prompts that they could uh, submit an essay in. And that, again, that deadline is March 15th. And the 
information on the specifics, how to submit the evaluation criteria, the process, all of that, again, is available on, on the CCLE website. Don't you think you'd love to write an essay like that? <laughs> Actually, yes, that would be <laughs> I just submit one anyway, even though, even though I'm not really eligible. So those are those are very very interesting prompts for essays. So you said there's also recitation, recitation and penmanship. Can you tell us about the the, the recitation? Yes, the recitation is the contest which has a deadline for April fifteenth, and this one is a very charming. A charming recit contest. I love to judge the submissions on this one. This is the one contest, the essay contest doesn't really have age uh, a limits specifically. And with recitation, we've divided it into not only six, uh, seven different age ranges, but you can do your recitation in either English or Latin. Imagine right. that, Latin, you can... <laughs> That's impressive. It, it, it's, very, it's wonderful. The students have kind of an age level range, you know, like three and four together, five through seven, eight through 11. And they have the uh, flexibility within a general area. So, for instance, preschool students will recite either a prayer or a hymn. The five through seven year olds can pick any hymn, uh, catechetical, or a creed. And then as they get older, they're expected to perform a longer recitation, getting into possibly classical or Christian poetry or even a sermon recitation. So in the Latin division, we've provided a Latin resource guide, which actually has things that they can memorize. So they don't have to figure out what to do. They can go look at a, the guide and find something which would be interesting and that they would like to do. I will also one, say one more thing about the recitation uh, contest, and that is even though we do have it broken down by age group, because classical education really encourages students to challenge themselves, they can try the harder levels if they're interested in it. So now, how do students submit their recitations for the contest? Well, that's where technology comes in very handy. We ask the either the homeschool parent or the schoolroom teacher to record the students, you know, using a, sometimes just a smartphone, and then they submit the video recording to uh, executive director, executive.director at ccle.org. And then once the deadline passes, the executive director, who is Mrs. Anna Martin, will start the organizational process of evaluating the submissions. And generally within four to six weeks after the deadline of the contest, the winners are announced. But we still have Very one, good. yeah, we still have one more contest. <laughs> And that is the penmanship and calligraphy contest. Now, this contest is also broken down somewhat into ages in, in that, you know, obviously you're learning when students are young and learning to write. We have a print or the manuscript division from ages four through seven, but they're also going to learn cursive. So then we have the cursive section from ages six through nine. And you think, okay, then what can you do after you're nine years old? So you, you, the students that are, have beautiful handwriting, well, then you can move into calligraphy. Calligraphy is open to anyone from 10 through 18 years old. So that you can really take advantage of your flair for art and your desire to have, uh, to create something really beautiful. In calligraphy, we have two divisions. We have black lettering only, or we have color or illuminated art. So if you happen to be a Ooh. fan of, you know, the medieval book of hours, such as I am, it's, it's wonderful to see what our students are able to come up with in the calligraphy division. We have a specific scripture verse 
So everyone is doing the same verse, whether it's by print, by cursive, or by calligraphy. And this year's verse is, therefore be imitators of God as beloved children and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God, which is Ephesians chapter five, verses one through two. That is super exciting. I am a, a little jealous of, <laughs> a little, just a little. <laughs> of, of all of the young people who are going to be able to enter these contests. Uh, the penmanship would be my jam totally if I were eligible. That is amazing. And how will the, the penmanship, how will those be submitted for the contest? Well, again, through the uh, technology of taking a, vis a visual image of it, if whether you're scanning it or taking a photo, and then submitting it to the executive dot director at ccle.org. The deadline for the penmanship and calligraphy is May 15. Where can we find the information, all the details, and how to, how to register for, and uh, participate in these contests this year? If you go to the uh, ccle.org website, which incidentally is, uh, we've just uh, had a new uh, revision of it, so it's very exciting. And you go to the events and the drop down menu for events, we have student contests listed. And again, the student contest will have all of the directions, the overviews, and all of the scales so that you, the students, the teachers, the homeschooling parents can see exactly what will be expected and, and how their uh, submissions will be evaluated. Dr. Jacqueline Veith, Director of Accreditation and Certification for the Consortium for Classical Lutheran Education. Thanks so much for all these great updates on the contest with CCLE. Thank you. You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Goldtask. <laughs>